Today we're going to talk about how we fix internal rotation of the shoulders. And you can tell if you've got this, because when you're standing still, like me, your thumbs will face inwards rather than facing forwards, which is the way they should be facing. So I'm going to show you some fixes for internally rotated arms. So instead of being like this, we can start to stand a little bit more like this. If this is something that you have, you definitely want to fix it because not only does it look not very nice in a Hindi or riding, but it can also predispose you to a variety of different shoulder injuries, such as shoulder impingement, impingement syndrome and rotator cuff tears. So if you have a look at yourself when you're riding and you can see that your shoulders are rotating in and your thumbs are here rather than here, you know that you need to do something to fix it. So if you see a picture of yourself or a video of yourself where you're in this position, like myself, because it's such a common issue, because we see ourselves sitting at the desk, sitting in the car, you know, when we're doing any um, riding, we're obviously like very anterior, so we don't do a lot of posterior stuff. So we spend a lot of time in um, internal rotation, texting on our phone, reading books. We're in this position a lot of time. So we need to make sure when we're off the horse, we're making sure we're working on that external rotation and not constantly on internal rotation. So we need to work on the muscles of the rotator cuff and the shoulder muscles because we need to um, stretch the internal rotators because they're stiff and short and that's what's holding us in this position. And so we need to strengthen up the external rotators so that you can facilitate that more open posture. So what I'm going to show you is some exercises of how we can strengthen and shorten the external rotators that are going to pull your arms into a more neutral alignment and create more length and stretch the internal rotators. So we're going to do a combination of stretching and release work coupled with strengthening work. So we're going to release these muscles that are pulling you in and strengthen those muscles that are stopping you from being held back. We're going to get you even more neutral. So first thing we're going to do is stretch and release the pecs followed by some rotator cuff stretching. So for this exercise you're going to need soft ball, I've got the dog's ball here, a lacrosse ball or a foam roller is, is good for this. But what you're going to do is you're going to smash into the pec major and into the pec minor. So we're just going to release off these pec muscles. And you can start by just putting the ball in your chest and pulling it into the chest muscles. And if you haven't done this before, you can even do it with your hands if your pecs are really tight. And start with a softer ball if your pecs are really, really tight. And then you can move on to more of a lacrosse ball um, as you get even harder. If you're willing to ruin an apple <laughs> and give it to your horse afterwards, you could do that. If this isn't enough and you don't feel too much of a stress, one thing you can do is then come onto the floor, and this is gonna squeak now because it's a tennis ball, but you can come onto the ball, put your arm behind you, and then roll around on it. So spend some time on here. Spend some time on the side in the pec minor. Very satisfying. But tight pecs are a real culprit for internal rotators. If you're particularly tight before you do that, you can do some um, stretches. So we can put our arm into external rotation. So you just need a wall or something that you can hold on to. So you're going to take your arm out of this internal rotation into external. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our arm against the wall and then we're going to lean forward and try and create some external rotation in the arm. So we're stretching out the internal rotators. And we do this on both sides. So we've got the pec smash on the floor and then the static wall stretch, like so. You can also do some stretches. The next thing we can do is get a resistance band and anchor it around something. It could be the tree on the door or under your elbow, so that keeps your elbow in. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get your band which you've attached to something and then you're just going to do some external rotators and what we're going to do is going to go as far as we can keeping the ball into our sight so we're not going to let the ball drop so what we're going to do is smash out and stretch the pecs and then we're going to work on the external rotators by doing this activation where we have the ball under our elbow pinching into our ribs and then we're going to keep everything in position keep the collarbones long out 
and then we're just going to go as far as we can with our range of motion really think about um, using the scap in the back of the shoulder to create that movement keep the core strong nice athletic position we're just going to pull the band up the back we we'll do three to four sets of eight to ten of those and probably do one to two minutes of both the smash and the static stretches and that way we're working on stretching out the internal rotators and strengthening the external rotators hope that helps if you want any more information make sure to check out my facebook page and my instagram page for more tips on how to be a functional athletic rider thanks then and see you next